So welcome to my lab. Today we're going to show you my iPod Jukebox Phase 2 prototype. This is the what I've ended up with. As you can see it's kind of a mess, uh, but again it's just a proof of concept. It's a prototype and so this is what we got. The governing um, design choice was to use off-the-shelf parts uh, repurposing old electronics and bringing some some of these parts back to use uh, for the purpose of playing music in my workshop. So what we have here, the key components are the Apple Pro speakers set right here. These came with the old Power Max, I believe, and possibly the original iMax as well. Also have this little product here. This is an iFire. This was made by Griffin Technology for the uh, sole purpose of using these Apple Pro speakers uh, with other third-party uh, devices like laptops and such. And so, so that way you wouldn't have to use them with uh, an iMac. Uh, this device, the iFire, <clears throat> simply outputs right here on the end, this is the output to the Apple Pro speakers, it's the proprietary connector. It outputs the power and audio from there. The input side, uh, uh, sorry, rather this is the this is the this is power input, FireWire power input to the iFire, 12 volts, and this is an eighth-inch audio jack for standard audio input. So those were two two sets of components for this system. The third being uh, the iPhone. I wanted to use my iPhone or an iPod to play this the uh, music or podcasts on the speakers. So I've got here a, an old repurposed gooseneck-based mount. This was an auto or a car mount for my iPhone. Uh, even though it looks like the gooseneck and the mount uh, originally went together, these are actually two different mounts that we're looking at here. This was a, a general purpose uh, gooseneck and it originally had a mount style like this. And this thing, this this mount itself snapped, so I, I pulled it off the gooseneck. And this was an FM transmitter base. So I'm using that as a base strictly to hold the iPhone. And I glued it onto the, the gooseneck here. So, in terms of connectivity, um, I did have to make my own electronics box down here. This is my little black box. And it's a power management, and there's a there's a small audio circuit in there as well. What we have here for power input to the system is a standard 12 volt wall transformer. Uh, so I plug that in, and you'll see nice lights shine up here. I have power here on the iFire, as well as an LED indicator right here. Inside of this box, my main charging circuit is a it's another repurposed piece of electronics. It was a 12 volt uh, car charger for uh, for iPhones and, and other devices. It had it had USB out right here, so I've protruded that USB connector out of the box. This this cable here that you see, this is going up, spiraling around the gooseneck to the standard iPhone connector. On that cable as well is an audio jack, and that you'll see right here. This is this is the audio <coughs> audio out from the iPhone. It goes into the black box. It goes back out the, the black box through a little potentiometer attenuator circuit. I'm attenuating the audio because the line level out from the iPhone is quite loud going through the iFire amplifier. So um, I attenuate the signal here with the potentiometer. Got a nice gnarly knob. And that audio cable kind of snakes out of the black box into the iFire. Um, I also have on the other side a uh, power cable coming out, powering the iFire on the on the FireWire cable. So it's quite a rat's nest. It's a, it's a spaghetti monster, but that's okay. So now I'm going to plug in and give a quick little demo. Okay, so now we're going to plug in my iPhone, and that's plugged in securely. As you can see, the the suction-based uh, gooseneck of this old mount um, sticks on pretty hard. I can I can lift up the entire thing from the gooseneck itself, and this is stuck down to a square piece of plexiglass.
So this is the square platform right here. I've got four little rubber feet on the underside of this thing. And so now we will show you some tunes. Turn down the volume. Turn back up. That's the end of the demo.